The K-5 stream program was developed to be aligned with the district vision and goals to prepare our students for the 21st century. We want to ensure that our students have the skills and the technical competencies to be prepared for the future. The STREAM initiative integrates science, technology, research, engineering, art, and mathematics. Besides the science, the technology, the research, the math, everything that goes into STREAM, that it really was about student voice and student agency, and getting students to take more of a role in their own learning, and, and really being inquisitive, and really leading with that inquiry model. And that's what you see in every lesson. This is where you are so far and you've got to get it taller than a pencil to get to level three. One of the things that we're really proud of what we're doing here in Nyack is that we're building this and we're writing this from the ground up. These kids are coming in and they're just super excited. It's hands-on, it's minds-on, it's very little behavior management from me because the kids are just so into what they're doing. So that's a really exciting part. So you're over here at level three, do you want to try level four? This stream lab is a place for creativity to happen. It is a place where kids can make mistakes safely, to try things out, to have fun learning in a different way. So they're working together, they're collaborating, they're having fun as they try to solve a problem. We're stuck on an island and we have to pay the shelter to survive. We had to get across a stream, so we built a bridge with Cuba bricks. We sort of like to think of ourselves as complementing what's happening in the classroom setting. So if they're learning about Native Americans in fourth grade in class, we're going to be doing that work here, but we're going to be doing some engineering, some coding, and some other really cool things uh, that are stream related to, to those topics. And one of the things we're testing here is to see how well the family living inside would be protected from wind. So fourth graders building wigwams, third graders building shelters in Brazil because they're learning about world communities. But then we'll transition to some robotics but all of the robotics work will be connected to those themes as well. In the fifth grade, we're looking at human footprint, so the challenge was to design a tool that could help clean the garbage off the beach before it goes into the water. Looking forward to successfully pick up trash, but also put it in a place where it could be transported. When we started designing the spaces, we looked at other schools, we looked at research, and we looked at what we really would need for our students in the 21st century. The lessons are designed to ensure that the students are immersed in learning authentic real-world problems, and this is done through a series of instructional strategies that allow students to have their own choice, voice, and how they're solving their problems. In stream, there's like no right or wrong because you're just putting your ideas to I call it good noise when you walk in and you really see students asking questions and really being exciting about what they're learning because their hands are, are touching it and they're on it. Everybody has a specialty and we need to make sure we're honoring that and the way we teach now does that. They get to make some messes and really share their expertise with their classmates as well as with the teacher and I love learning from the students as well as trying to share what I know with them. What makes NIAC so great is that we put students first and we knew that this was going to be a program that they would benefit from and so there was no um, barrier we were going to let happen, there was no obstacle we were going to allow to get in our way of working together to making sure that kids had this opportunity. I'm really proud of where this program is right now and where it's going to be going to in the future.